What's going on guys? Cut it back with another video and today I'm going through how to link your top step trading account to your Sierra chart. I actually struggled with this. I recently switched over to Sierra chart and um, I struggled after I purchased the top step account with actually logging into the account i didn't know how to log into the account so i searched i didn't find any videos i had to read um a few pages it was pretty easy it's actually a pretty easy process the two things that you're going to need you're going to need sierra chart of course and you're also going to need rhythmic rhythmic trader pro and to get rhythmic all you do is go to rhythmic.com go to download software download our trader pro and you'll download that. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not gonna re-download it. Once that downloads, this will come up. Ooh, let's bring this over here. This will come up, and all you gotta do is type in the username and the password that you got in the email, and switch this from with Rhythmic01 uh, to Top Step Trader. All right, and make sure this is in Chicago area if you're in the US, and I believe you Go to whatever area you're close to if you're outside the US. And then uh, you log in. And it's kind of like a back office, how I've interpreted it. I haven't really run through everything on it, but it's kind of like a back office where you can view everything about your account. Um, I'll dig more into it so I can actually fully understand the use, how useful it is. And then once you go to Sierra chart, not sure. go to Sierra chart, then you go to file data trade service settings, and then you hit the drop down, go to rhythmic direct. Uh, and then you want to hit apply right after that, right? You want to hit the A and then go to serverless and make sure you're in Chicago non-aggregated or whichever one is closest to you, non-aggregated. And uh, again, for every single one of these, you just type in your username and your password that you got in the email. And that's it. That's how you set it up. Now, um, if you don't, I believe there is an agreement you have to sign because on sierrachart.com because when I initially tried to do this, it was saying that Rhythmic wasn't in my uh, in my package. So it said it wasn't enabled on the package. So I upgraded to integrate it. Uh, and let's just view that real quick. Let's go to Sierra chart. And coming to these. So I upgraded to integrated advance instead of the base advance. I believe that was the solution to the problem. Uh, if not, if someone knows that I did something else because I did, I did a couple things, but I believe that was the solution to the problem. If you run into that problem, that's all you got to do. And if not, go ahead, comment in the comment section and correct me. But Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.